Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to craft uh, amulets for chaos damage over time skills, the scale off of uh, Zem levels and off of damage over time multiplier like uh, Essence Rain, Contagion, Toxic Rain. And as you can see, it's just plus 2 with Dexterity Chaos is around 12x. And uh, if you also count the chaos damage over time multiplier suffix, uh, it's around 20 or 22 or even more. And uh, we want to start on a level 82 base, as you can see here. It's uh, the minimum level for getting plus one chaos and plus one dex. You want to start on the any base that you want, depending on the attributes that you need. And you alteration spam until you eat dexterity or int, if you need int because you're using a int gem instead of a dex one. And if you add another suffix, what you could do is imprint and unknow for a 50-50 or removing the intelligence. And if you remove the uh, dexterity gem, you can always imprint back, imprint again, and unknow again. So this is a guaranteed step. Once you hit the dexterity, if you have a better, if you have a bad suffix with it, you can always clean it. And uh, once you clean it, you can go in bench, suffixes, and you do previous cannot be changed, and then you imprint the base. Uh, once you have it imprinted in this state, you want to wriggle. And you want to reforge chaos. And uh, if you basically, we want to do this until we hit uh, plus one all chaos kill gems. This, on average, takes 13 tries. And uh, uh, if you fail, you, you can always imprint back. And then you go in Bishri, imprint again, wriggle, and uh, do the reforge chaos again. I'm just going to do it quick. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. It takes on average 13 tries, so it's two exalts to craft the suffix is gonna be changed. And then it's uh, 13 tries uh, to get the kill, plus one chaos skill gems, like this. It took us how many? One, two, three, but on average it's going to take you 13. So if we count these at half an X each, it's going to be 6.5x. And if we count the meta crafting and the Initial base are like 3x. The total cost is going to be like what 9.5 and they start for like 12. Uh, so that's around 3x profit at least. Uh, I counted a little bit more on the base cost. So right now we have uh we got lucky and we got chaos damage over time multiplier, but let's say we didn't have it. Uh if you if you have an open prefix, what you can do is um you can try to get some res. Uh, so some uh, defense mod like uh, maximum energy shield or maximum life, depending on uh, how your build scales. So uh, basically, in this case, we have full suffixes. So we want to bench craft a prefix. Let's say we craft like a random prefix like this. And we go in other, reforce, keep prefixes so that we can free up a suffix because here we have full suffixes, so we can't really do anything about it. And now... Uh, once we have an open suffix, we can go ban suffixes and we do previous cannot be changed and we go in harvest and we do reforge defense. If your prefixes are full from the, from rolling the plus one chaos, you can't really do this, but this is a pretty high chance of giving you some good energy shield, or you can also do it with life to try and get life, depending on your build. You can get other mods, but it's too exalt to try and get a really good prefix. You might as well do this step. We got armor, which is a defense tag. We got armor. Uh, our goal is to get energy shield like this, or maximum life. Uh, on a dexterity amulet, it's probably better to get life instead of energy shield. But yeah, uh, let's try again. Again, we got some life. Uh, once you're happy with your prefixes, uh, by the way, you can do only this once. You can only do this one uh, step once. So if you have full prefixes, you're stuck with it. Once you're happy with your prefixes, or you're stuck with it because you eat a bad mod on the third one and you only just got the two good ones. Your previous cannot be changed. And on average, to hit the chaos damage over time T1, it's uh, one in five. So we have to craft previous cannot be changed and reforge chaos five times. That is 10 exalts. And if we count the 9.5 9 exalts that we spent here, plus 10x is like 19.5. Uh, but and it's cheaper to buy it from the market on average. And also we have a chance of getting better prefixes because we're crafting it ourselves, and there's always a chance of getting lucky. So we craft um, 
suffix uh, prefix cannot be changed, and then we go in reroll and we do reroll chaos. And uh, you can get unlucky and get chaos res a bunch of times. So to to get the tier one, it's one in five. So we'll just do it a few times, and we go lucky on uh, the, like third or second try, and we got T1. Let's say you didn't have the cold res, okay? Uh, having the cold res here is actually good, because um, usually now we would want to continue the craft using Isling, so we can craft, can have multiple crafted mods and prefix cannot be changed. Uh, usually before I would only use prefix cannot be changed and do a 50-50, but here if you craft multiple crafted mods, prefix cannot be changed and damage over time, you can Isling for a 66% chance of saving the item. As you can see, it can remove one of the three suffixes, and now we added two artificial suffixes. So we increase our chance of not breaking the amulet by 17%. Uh, the same works if we add the cold res here. You can always go and craft previous cannot be changed and Isling. So having a second suffix is fine here, unless it's completely garbage. Uh, having the second suffix is fine because it can remove it can remove the cold res and we save to exalt on the can have multiple crafted mods here. So I'm going to show you again with the multiple crafted mods. So you craft uh, can have multiple crafted mods with previous cannot be changed. And now we have a 66% chance of isling without breaking our amulet because our prefixes cannot be touched. They're like final, they're done. And the only mod that can break the am amulet is not really break because we can get it back again, but it's going to be expensive to get it back. Uh, is uh, removing the chaos damage over time multipliers. So we have these two. It's a 4x cost to craft these two, but it increases our chances by 17%. So I think it's worth it. And uh, let's say we get um, our veiled suffix like this. We remove the other crafted mod, and then we go in our bench, and we look for all the veiled uh, suffixes that we want. So there is a bunch of veiled suffixes that we can go for. Uh, ideally, we probably want attributes or a hybrid res like this. Uh, so I think the best mod to block is uh, minimum charges. Let's see if we can block all of them at the same time with a minimum. Okay, we go here in exalt so we can select crafted bench, uh, bench mods. And uh, our goal is to just block as much weight as possible. Yeah, we. We are blocking either region or any of the charges, minimum charges, probably power charges because our build can't really use them because that kills damage over time build. So we go in bench suffixes and we craft minimum power charges because it blocks most of the weight. And uh, we just reveal and we just uh, maybe get a res. If you get a second mod here, like the cold res like before, you can just keep it, I think. And then we remove the craft and we just craft whatever we want. Uh, maybe some chaos damage or um, some more res, like all res. And you can just do whatever you want on the suffixes here. Uh, the main part is the plus two with the chaos damage over time multiplier. It's going to give you so much damage. And then you can finish this. The only non deterministic part of the craft is going to be uh, getting the life or like the energy shield on the third prefix. If you have a full prefix when you roll the plus one chaos skill gems, you're gonna be stuck. You can't really do much about this unless you wanna gamble. And for the rest of the amulet, it's pretty deterministic. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.